I'm Brian and you're watching Someplace or Another. And I'm in Auburn, Indiana at the National Automotive and Truck Museum. Okay, let's go. Hmm, looks like we have a car chassis with a lot of the parts exposed. Cool. Some of the cars are for sale. Cool. What do you think? You want a 1954 Checker sedan? Looks like it's in pretty nice shape. 34 Auburn Speedster. Let's go check out the inside. Yep, it's pretty nice. And that radio is not stock. What, are they selling all their Checker sedans? This one's for sale too. It's an 81. I like the other one better. Shh. We don't want to interrupt these guys while they're working. This is what happens when you bury a Accord 810. It becomes unusable. Can't believe they found it though. Hmm. I like this place. It's got that cool industrial look. They used to manufacture Auburn cars here and it's hot. There is no AC. This is a 1948 Valentine Diner. Uh, the customers look a little creepy. Now here's something you don't see very often. An old school bus. A1 used cars and trucks. Ooh, an El Camino. What do you think? Late 70s? Early 80s? Hmm, maybe an 82? Ooh, this one looks pretty cool. Looks like we have a 1948 AMP prototype. It's in nice shape. Johnson's Fuel Service. We don't see many of those old fuel trucks. Cool. I like how they got all the cool old memorabilia. It adds a certain finesse. It's rough work working at a museum gas station. Phew. Did you know DeLorean painted some of their cars? This is one of the 30 with a factory paint job. I think it might look better painted. It's a pretty cool looking car. Ooh, some more taxi cabs. 
This one's a 57 checker and is the sole surviving model A8. This one's an 81 and it's air conditioned. Cool. So it's right there on the sign. Wait, is that one diesel? Huh. Ooh, a 71 checker aerobus. That goes on for days. Hey, don't slam the door. Better keep that speed down. We got a 59 Chevrolet police cruiser. Just a good old boys. Never meaning no harm. Beats all you've ever seen. Been in trouble with the law since the day they were born. The General Lee. One of 17 survivors of the Dukes of Hazard. Fun fact. In the last year of production, they used the AMC Ambassador. They couldn't find any chargers. Ah, a Chevy versus Ford scenario. This one's a 49 Chevy. And the other one is a 55 Ford. So what do you think? Ford or Chevy? Little GTO. The official pace car of Indianapolis 500 in 1971. 69 Barracuda. 8,000 original miles? Aw, that's kind of a shame. A 1958 Ford station wagon. That's kind of cool. A GM Future Liner. Look at those front wheels. There's Four of them, two per side. Hmm, that's interesting. The Parade of Progress. Electric locomotive and much more. Kettering did have a great idea one day as he spoke. When it started in 1954, I was one of 40 to 50 inches. Now that's a good looking car hauler. Hmm. Pretty cool. Let's get the inside. And the truck they're pulling it with is a white 3000. And they're not talking about the color. Something about this truck I find fascinating. I don't know any info on it. What? It looks pretty sharp. Mm, it looks like it's got the engine in the back. Huh. Is that Wicker?
Oh man, I caught the light. Alright. Okay. Oh, good, let's go. Entering Auburn's experimental area from 1928 to 1937. Hmm. Nice. The truck section. A 1911 auto wagon, Model A. It hits a two-cylinder engine with a whopping 16 horsepower. Wouldn't it be cool to hop in one of these old trucks and go to Home Depot just like it's any other day? Just picking up my plywood. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Remember, they didn't have light bulbs back then. Can you imagine driving by candlelight? Well, that's sketchy. Huh, that's kind of cool. What is that? Some sort of ski machine? A snow runner? Looks like we have a Studebaker. Hmm. Nice. And an old fire truck. And this one can be yours for only $5,000. It's a bargain. And you can put out fires too. <laughs> Maybe not. I can use a drink about now. Oh good, a Pepsi machine. Oh wait, that's not working. Ah, do you remember when these machines used to actually be functional? Looks like we have a 1967 Scout made by International. Possibly an award winner. It's in nice shape. Cool. They let you walk around the restoration room. Well, I didn't see any sign saying not to. Looks like we have a bread truck. I like the way that one looks. That's pretty cool. Whatever you do, don't back up. Doesn't this truck look like a perfect cartoon character? Would you believe how much they want for this? 30,000. Must be rare. It 
Let's go see how things are made. Take one quick look at this jukebox, and then I'll head on out. I think these are supposed to be... <laughs> motor court. Our example of early lodging. Apparently I'm on camera. Oh, so are you. Tiny gas station set up. That's cool. Is that a UPS truck? Well, that place was pretty cool. Lots of memorabilia. Uh, hope you liked the video. Hit subscribe if you did. Uh, see you guys someplace or another. Stay tuned for more adventure to come. Subscribe, like, share, and thanks for watching. Bye.